Hello YouTube. After a delay of a month, I am finally be able to show you my CAN gauge micro. Uh, this was the delay due to incompetent Chinese manufacturer, uh, which was supposed to send me the front and back panels, and they sent me these, and they were supposed to look like this, obviously. So I waited a month for these and wasted a lot of time. So this is the front panel. This is the back panel. Uh, one side is glossy, one side is matte. You can choose which side you like when you order it. And it also has a laser acrylic cut frame which is used to diffuse the neopixel light that's on the bottom here and has a purpose of a spacer between the OLED display and the carbon fiber front. And without further ado, let me show you my gauge and the code. Right now it's in the off screen. I touch the such sensor and it shows you speed and RPM. I have one potentiometer on my simulator that is responsible for both of them right now. The second screen is kilometers per hour only and it has three speed warnings. The first speed warning is at 50 kilometers per hour which is a speed for the inner city here. The second speed warning is at 90 km per hour. This is on the country roads because that's what I have around here. There are no uh, autobahn or interstate close to me here. And the third screen is my personal uh, warning for above 150 km per hour, which is quite fast on, inter uh, on country roads. And there it says you nuts or ask you if you're nuts. Second speed indicator says a uh, speed warning says too fast. And on the first one it says slower. So that's the speedo. And then we have a tachometer RPM, which has also a speed warning. I mean, a uh, shift light warning. Uh, it shows a green light when the engine is running and this is again my personal code which has the shift light set at 4000 rpm because uh, I don't need to go higher than that. So when you hit 4000 it starts blinking the NeoPixel and it says shift right here as you can see. So this will be able to be uh, specified by you when you order it at 6000, 7000 or whatever RPM limit your engine has. So this was that. And then you have coolant temperature. Uh, this is a simulated value. You have in the simulator, not in the car, you have oil temperature. You have throttle position, you have intake air, you have ambient air, you have battery voltmeter, you have a fuel level in percentage because uh, every car has different fuel level obviously or fuel tank. This is my one of my favorites. This is a gear indicator for automatic transmissions. Uh, once your car is running but you're standing still uh, it says D and once you speed up uh, of course here in the simulator it goes backwards but in reality it will start with one two three four five or how many gears your transmission has I have five so it goes between one and five I cannot simulate it here correctly and you have a throttle position at the same time and it's quite interesting if you're driving on cruise control which I do most of the time you can see your 
gear and throttle position and if it comes to uphill you see it shifting it down and the throttle position increases it's quite interesting and then you have a timer screen this is a 0 to 100 kilometers per hour timing screen it's fully automatic you're standing still as soon as you start driving it starts counting the speed uh, the time and once you hit 100 I'm doing it slowly right now you see your time displayed on your finish flag and then it switches back and since you're still coming to a stop it says stop car you slow down once you stopped this is my simulator that starts running by itself sometimes once it's stopped it says zero and then you start again and then you hit 100 it shows you your time obviously so what we also have is a quarter mile run and this has a direct light animation with three yellow and the green at the same time you see it on the bottom here you have three times the yellow light and then the green light as on actual drag races they have the get ready and uh, a few more lights but this is the main lights you need and uh, if you don't start your run uh, it just uh, counts down and says failed because obviously you did not start the run uh, but if you do you wait till the green light comes on and then you accelerate on my simulator the max speed in kilometers per hour is 255 once you hit that it shows you the time distance traveled in meters and your top speed that you had so once you it shows this till you stop again once you stop it starts the counting again and then you can start a new run uh, this does include your reaction time so depending how fast your reaction is if it's faster you have a slower or a slower run and if it's slower you need more time so as soon as the green light comes on you can start driving if you do it too early uh, let me run it out if you don't finish your run you have a timeout of 25 seconds and then it resets again so right now you see my speed is zero I turn it down I'm waiting to 25 seconds and then it will be in the yeah, obviously failed and then you have the tree again if you start too early say on yellow on the third yellow like I just did it just nothing happens so you have to slow down again and then it starts so you cannot pre jump it but you cannot uh, miss the green light either so once this screen is done you touch it again you come to the off screen and then it starts over again on the kilometers and the rpm now of course if you're in the us you have imperial version of this for that you touch and hold and then it switches to miles per hour uh, this is actually the longer press because you also have a long press the longer press to change between the metric and the imperial version is 1.5 seconds and then i can show you the top speed here so this is the top speed converted from 255 to miles per hour 158 so and the second screen shows the miles per hour again with the speed warnings third screen shows the rpm with the shift light and here you have coolant degrees fahrenheit obviously you have oil temperature in fahrenheit throttle position is the same percentage intake air fahrenheit ambient air fahrenheit battery is the same fuel level is the same throttle i mean not throttle the gear indicator is the same obviously and then you have your timer screen which is 0 to 60 miles per hour now so again you stop 
and then you start driving you hit the 60 it shows you your time and then stop car you stop and now if you come to the quarter mile run it's in miles per hour and it shows feet and the seconds and once you start running that the green like I do now you see again top speed is 158 and then it shows you your time on the finish line and if you slow down again the timer starts again so this is uh, imperial and you have off again and you have miles per hour and you have one more feature which is the auto cycle screen mode if you short press on that or long press i'm sorry uh, that time is uh, 750 milliseconds it switches to auto cycle mode shows each screen for five seconds and switches to the next it does skip the blank screen of course at the end and once it reaches there it starts overall again let it get it to the end and if you do uh, power off the unit uh, it does remember which screen you were in and it starts from there again and if you're in the auto cycle screen it starts there again so as you see it's auto cycles through if i interrupt it disconnect the power connect it back on it shows you the intro screen that you're in auto cycle on and it starts over again in auto cycle and of course if you're in in any screen and uh, you power it off it will remember which screen you are right now we are in ambient air power off power on after the splash screen it starts with ambient air so this is the code what i also have is a special code for myself uh, if you're in kilometers per hour since I'm not doing 0 to 100 kilometers per hour runs all the time not that I do any all the time but I can switch if I long long press that's three seconds about now it switches to 0 to 50 kilometer per hour timer so here it would of course once you hit 50 it shows you your time so this one i can do more often than 0 to 100 that's why it's in there and then if you have the the other screens so this is basically it uh, let me see if i forgot something i probably did but i will address those in later videos i will also show a video of it working in the car i just need to get somehow my camera mounted in there because i cannot just uh, hold the camera in my hand and do the video it's gonna be too shaky but this is it um, this version the wire comes out from the side because i have this sitting in front of my dashboard in the car which you have seen pictures and videos of it but normally the wire will come out of the, that uh, rubber garment that will eliminate the uh, carbon fiber uh, damaging the wire so it will hold uh, you could stick a metal plate on here and use it with a magnetic holder if you like and uh, this is it guys this will go on indiegogo as soon as i have all the write-up done and um, make more videos and some pictures to put there and if you're interested and don't want to wait for the indiegogo campaign to start and finish and get the gauges made i will have around five six seven of these uh 
available before that so if you want to get your hands on it right now uh, leave me a message send me your email get in contact with me and we go from there so a few of them will be available before the campaign uh, for all others they will have to wait till it's over I also did the VGauge version of this can gauge and oh by the way this is true can bus it works on cars 2008 and later although my car is a 2005 it still does work but uh, regular it works on the can bus connection of the OBD plug and oh, okay uh, all the gauges will come with the gauge wire and the plug already connected and all you need to do is plug and play there is no other setup to do, nothing at all. It will be a plug and play system. Um, yes, I did the VGauge version of it, which has a slightly different shape from the half round before. It now has the uh, flat edges. I kind of like this better. It also has 1.3 inch displays like this one and before it was uh, 0 0.96 inch which for me personally they seem too small now I'm used to the bigger display now so this one has the bigger displays it has 10 new pixels which will be for the shift light or you could show temperature or whatever you like on that and it will have two codes the top ones that you can no not the top ones this one these two you will be able to change like this one with the touch sensor but that's another video another story so if you're interested uh, if, let me know uh, if you think that other people might be interested please forward the link of the video to them I would greatly appreciate it and um, this was it this is my can gauge micro Thanks for watching and take care everybody.